Databricks is excited to announce the release of Mosaic AI Gateway. This is for unified access, centralized governance, and full observability into your Gen AI applications. AI Gateway is a highly scalable enterprise-grade API gateway that enables organizations to manage their LLMs and accelerate outcomes with securely governed AI, both for your experimentation and production use cases. So in this demo, you will see this leveraged with payload logging, guardrail creations, usage tracking, and more. So let's get started. In order to get started with AI Gateway, you first have to enable it on your model serving endpoints, and these can be for existing endpoints. First, we're going to enable our usage tracking. This will create a system table for you to see who is calling each endpoint and the token count being used. Essentially, this is like admin privileges, and so you might want to reference it when you're setting rate limits below. Next is enabling inference tables. This is to manage your requests and responses. This is at the account level because it's your enterprise data, so you can specify your table location in Unity Catalog. Here I have my location set. And so now all your payloads are automatically logged in a table within Unity Catalog, so it inherits that same governance that covers your model and other data. For AI guardrails, this is to safeguard your inputs and outputs. So I could enable my safety and for my PII detection, I have opening a checking account as a valid topic. Now this might be if you're creating a chatbot for a bank that's working with customers. And then for invalid keywords, we might have check fraud. So this just balances what you want your model's inputs and outputs to look like and what you don't in order to safeguard for PII. For your rate limits, I currently have no rate limit set, but again, this might change once you see your usage tracking. You can update that, store it, and now let's go into our dashboard capabilities to see how we can leverage Lakehouse dashboards in order to create an overall view for our AI gateway. Now you can think of AI Gateway as the Unity Catalog for serverless endpoints, and let's get started with payload logging. So these are your inference tables, so all incoming requests and outgoing responses are st stored in a delta table in the user's account. And so you can see the full latency, the actual request, the full response, and all the metadata associated with that. And what's great about having these payloads log or like having these inferences is you can do A-B testing on latency between two different models to figure out which model should be put into production or which model should be interacting with customers. So this is based on latency, but you can also A-B test based on uh, different performance metrics as long as that data is logged. And this we get from configuring our traffic routing. And we can see that Claude 3 has a more consistent latency, a more consistent lower latency than GPT-40 Mini. So maybe if we have GPT-40 Mini in production, we might want to exchange that model. For usage tracking, again, this is that admin control. This is going to be great for your cost attribution and abuse detection. Abuse detection just essentially being if someone is overusing a certain model endpoint, or maybe they're using a, a very expensive third-party model. And here we can look at all endpoints and token usage. And you can use token usage as a proxy for cost, or you can input a billing table. Next, if we looked at a single endpoint, we can look at it as a admin for a requester standpoint. So we can look at the individual requesters, see who's leveraging this endpoint, and be able to dive in and then maybe eventually set rate limits if they're exceeding that limit. Next, for PI. PII audits. Um, this is going to be an example of data classification based on requests that are already logged. So you can enable guardrails to prevent real-time PII leakage. This is more for that audit request. So we're going to be classifying those uh, inputs and outputs. Here we can see that we're mostly not identifying any PII, but there are a few instances in which PII is detected, and that's classified based on are we seeing a name, are we seeing an email, are we seeing a driver's license. Uh, this way we can actually classify those tags detected and get a pr even a profile of the PII that um, we want to keep in mind. So here is a requester. And then we can see there are two counts for PI. We are seeing an email. 
And then if we want to view the individual requests that we identified as true, we can go into those exact messages and see what was the PII leaked. And here we can see that there was an inputted social security number. And so that inputted social security number is what flagged that PII. Lastly, we just want to look at data quality. So you could set up Lakehouse monitoring on the payload logging table to track that quality over time. And remember, all the data that you're logged, this could be used for creating evaluation data sets. This could be used for creating fine tuning data sets because this dashboard is all made possible by having your usage stored in an easily accessible Delta tables within Unity Catalog. So this essentially is to give full access, unified governance, and observability into your AI systems.